What's up everyone, I'm Ole Englund and today I'm trying to replicate the tone of the Metallica Black Album. So Metallica's Black Album is undoubtedly one of the most popular metal albums of today. I think I heard something a couple of years back that it's still selling like 9,000 copies a week or something like that. So that's great to know that, you know, even though they haven't released an album in a while, it still outsells all the other metal bands in regards of album sales still to this day. It just shows the sheer size of Metallica as a band. But it's also one of those albums that really divided the Metallica fans because this was the album where Metallica changed the most. Coming from the Thrash albums from before, on the Black album they played slower, they tuned down, they sounded way heavier than before. And for a lot of people this was not a good thing. This is not the real Metallica. But nonetheless, it made Metallica as popular as they are today because that album is definitely one of the most selling metal albums of all time. So that just says something. It really helped them in the popularity part at least. <laughs> so in today's video I'm gonna replicate the Black Album rhythm guitar tone. And good thing for us and me before making this video is that there's a lot of information of what was being used on the album. So I quote this piece of paper I have right here. So in regards to guitar. This is for rhythm, okay? James Hetfield was using an ESP MX220 with EMG81 and 60 neck. Uh, for amps, mainly a Mesa Boogie Mark 2C++, so a modded plus. A modified Marshall JCM800, a Mesa Boogie Mark IV, an ADA MP1 preamp and a Mesa Boogie Strategy 400 power amp. So uh, quite a fair bit of amplifiers. I think the ADA MP1 preamp and the Mesa Boogie Strategy 400 power amp was probably more for the clean tones while the uh, you know the, the Mark 2C Plus and the Mark IV was more for the rhythm guitar tone. Cabinets, various Marshall 1960B 4x12s with Celestian Vintage speakers, 30 speakers. In the effects loop of these amplifiers they were using an Aphex EQ or two parametric EQs basically scooping out the mids of the guitar tone. And the peak frequency where they pulled out the most mids was at 1200 uh, hertz. So for this video I'm using an ESP M2 with EMG 81s and I have to address something in a previous video where I showed this ESP M2 I said that I thought that these EMG 81s might be made in China. I have to correct myself I did an error. No EMG 81s are made outside the US of A. So I just want to rectify that. This guitar goes into my Mesa Mark II C+. I have set the tone knobs and the graphical equalizers just as mentioned in the settings chart from Guitar World. From this amplifier slave out, I go to this Fortin Sewell noise gate right there and also this MXR uh, equalizer, graphic equalizer. Right there. <laughs> and I set it up uh, basically like the uh, parametric affix EQs that they have right there. A graphical equalizer is a little bit different than a parametric EQ, but you know, it gets the job done. And then from this equalizer, I go into the power amp section of this Marshall JCM 800. Now, this route, you know, slaving the Mesa Boogie Mark IIc Plus into a Marshall JCM 800 was what they did for Justice for All. And even though it doesn't state so in the notes, but they did say that they 
were using a modern Marshall and that when they used the Mark II C Plus with the incredible scoop that they brought some mids back using the power amp section of a Marshall. That's how I routed up this setup right here. Uh, that torpedo capter that I have at the side there, that's just for the speaker output of this Mesa. It's basically acting like a load box for the Mesa. So uh, I'm not gonna destroy the Mesa because right now the only thing that's connected to this cabinet is this Marshall JCM 800. This cabinet right here has vintage 30 speakers. It didn't stay what microphones were being used, but I'm using an SM57 and the Neumann TLM 102 microphone, also a stereo microphone to switch things up. The guitar is tuned to D standard. I'm using an Ernie Ball 11 to 54 set. I didn't have the 11 to 48 that was stated in the Guitar World magazine. And here we go. <laughs> So for the album, obviously they layer the guitars with more than one guitar track and that's how you get that really thick guitar tone. So obviously it's not going to sound the same when I'm sitting here playing just one rig. <laughs> For me personally, this is way too scooped. But, I mean, this is sort of like the tone on the album. It is very scooped. <laughs> It does sound pretty good though. Also, since these pickups are active, they give a slight, slight boost to this whole tone right there. So the thing about slaving something into the effects loop return of this Marshall amplifier is that when you slave something in there, the master controls won't work on this Marshall. It will be on full on at all times. So you have to be really careful about how you set the volume on the preamp. That's why you can see that I've turned down the volume on the EQ pedal as well. Just, you know, to lower the actual volume of this whole rig because this Marshall is going full on right now. <laughs> I'm gonna shut off the EQ just to hear what that sounds like. Personally, I much more prefer this when the EQ is off, but for the album tone, obviously, you need to scoop it more. For playing in the room, this is a lot more enjoyable. Also, let me dial the settings a little bit. All right, right now I'm doing the classic thing. I'm uh, setting the treble at maximum bass at zero and, you know, uh, middle at zero, giving an extreme boosted type of tone. <laughs> Uh, 
that's just a Mark 2C Plus right there. Holy shit. This old amplifier? Incredibly tight. Holy shit. All right, let's engage the MXR EQ again. So there you go, that's the Metallica Black Album rig for you right there. Using this full setup right here, I made an impulse response of both the SM57 and the TLM 102 microphone and then one mixed together. So it's basically the full rig except for the Mesa preamp. You get the effects loop, you get the EQ and you get a very Metallica Black Album tone right there and uh, this little impulse response is available to purchase from my web store oldanglandshop.com i hope you enjoyed this video give me suggestions of more tone of the artist albums that you want me to recreate i'll look into it okay thank you so much for watching goodbye